<laughs> An Arby's worker was arrested for throwing hot grease on a customer in Alabama. The victim's family told a local station she suffered third degree burns over 60% of her body. They also said what? she didn't 60%? know the female employee. 60%. It got on her face and just dripped oh, God. and dripped, I guess. How small is she? 60% yeah. of your body? What's what's falling down on Maybe it? She has a big head. Good you know? God. Somebody Wait, call what? Stella Lieback McDonald's coffee. Come on. 60% of her body? That's horrible. Why is this funny, Keith? You were like, I got a really funny story. This woman was horrible. I don't, I don't think burnt. I said funny. I said we got to go over things. I don't think I said funny. <laughs> I said I Your told face. You. Your face says this is going to be funny. Your face I, said says, I, have, hey. I said, I have some jokes, Keith. And you're like, no, I got a really funny thing to bring up. And then it was that. And I was like, OK, well, we'll go with it. We're testing you. We're like, we're going to bring up some <laughs> subjects. You see if you could make it funny. <laughs> now that you're in L.A., is this funny? But wait, what did she spill again? Hot grease was thrown at a was thrown at a customer. Oh, was thrown oh, at her own. Oh, not I'm not victim blaming what happened right before. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to victim blame, but did you a- ask for extra sauce? I'm this is something I'm trying to teach my stepkids. OK, first of all, you, you, you leave there. You're lucky to be alive. You paid for fries and you, you didn't get them. You say thank you. And an Arby's of all places. Oh, my God. I wouldn't even have the balls to do a court case. Why was I there? This is, I think, how and again, this is not my perspective, but this is how I think black people teach their children to deal with police. Look, they're going to try to kill you. You get out alive. You know, you do a couple of things that are not on your side. Everything is biased. It's fucked up. Just work on getting out alive. Yeah. Now you got to be. If I see people in a fast food restaurant, I'm like, oh, these poor people, like they're so they're just so hungry. They must have been working and dealing with family and they're just so fucking hungry. They have to. I get that. I've been there where, you know, oh, you're an American. You say you're starving. You know, sometimes you're fucking starving. What can I tell you? And you gotta, but go in humble. Uh, I punch myself in the face in front of these workers uh, so that they're like, oh, okay. You know, when I was in the, when I was in the army, it, when I was in basic training, you, you'd get, uh, you know, you'd have I to always dig need a, a pause, Keith. I'm sorry. I, I always need army. a pause for when you say that you went to the army. We need a pause to check our guest. Did you know that he was in the no. army? Is this blowing your mind a little bit? I now never... you understand the haircut. There's a lot. Oh, I'm sorry. My head shaved, Danny. <laughs> I was only <laughs> protecting your rights. Okay. <laughs> that was like 40 years ago. I don't know if that's a, <laughs> I don't think that's a consensual. I'm sorry, I guess we're over the Bill of Rights, right? That was, I mean, we got to talk about this fucking constitution forever. I always kind of thought I could take you in a fight, but now now I'm really doubting now. Yeah, now I really don't think I can because now I view you a lot. I kind of respect you now, man. That's kind of crazy. First of all, how often do you think about that? About fighting you? Yeah. Is it everybody you see? Like, can I take him or is it me specific? No, it's you. It's you. I'm just like, (laughs) could I scrap with this guy? I think I could take him. You know, he's got a soft belly. (laughs) <laughs> but now I'm thinking you don't. There's some hardness there. You've seen some shit, man. Yeah, that's crazy. One more word, and I'm gonna have to fight Keith. Can I do it? Right. <laughs> but he's uh, lucky th- we're on Zoom. Wait, hold on. He was in the army. One second. The drill instructor would, you know, make you do push-ups or something like this if you fucked something up. And so if I fucked something up, I did push-ups myself because mm. then they don't follow you and you do like three push-ups and they're not looking at you and you're done. It's a trick. Uh, yeah, I, I see. Uh, I'm in a fast food place. I punch myself. <laughs> they're pleased. Everyone wins. I get maybe my order. But the again, level, I was starving. So whatever. The level of detail in that story does not make me believe you're in the army. You're like push ups or whatever, whatever people in the army do, which I was in <laughs> basic training. I didn't do push ups for two years. I mean, do you have any like what? Like, what did you do in the army? I killed a man, Danny. <laughs> I killed a man. Maybe Google. Do we talk about that? Because we don't. I wasn't going there. I want a specific exercise. Well, what the not fuck like else is a there? Push up, a push up and a guy yelled. I mean, you sound yeah. like a guy who's seen a movie, not like. Okay, a guy let me tell you army. about my pull up regimen because it was out of this fucking world. Danny, there's only murder left. What would you like to talk about? Paperwork? Uh, Red tape? <laughs> Saluting? You want to know how I salute? Yeah, let's see the salute. Let's see. The Always salute. with the right hand, Danny. I see left wow. hand okay, and make me crisp. vomit. That was crisp. Wow. Yeah. I feel yeah. like a commander now. I don't know the position. Right. Can I just say, though, I pulled this article up. It actually says the burn victim here that she actually said that was the second worst thing that happened to her that day. The first. She, did she get a flat? Arby's. 
Podcast.com.